Both cases show homeowners exercising their Second Amendment rights to protect themselves. Well, new tonight at 11, Conroy Deluche found out the ones heading to gun stores are not who you'd expect. The owner here at Frontier Firearms says that he believes that the economy may be one reason that more people are turning to firearms because in a time when people are losing everything and criminals are becoming more desperate, at least you can protect yourself. When you have a sense of helplessness, it, it tends to make you want to grab onto things that will give you a sense of power. And firearms certainly do that. Brent Williams says that desire for independence and power is attracting unexpected throngs of new customers, especially senior citizens and women. At first it surprised me, but then I started talking to the ladies and more and more husbands are away for days out and in and they want to be able to have the right and have the strength to feel independent enough to take care of themselves. And Brand's firearms class will be packed on Saturday. 36 people, many motivated by traumatic experiences, whether it's their own or one of close friends. Their homes have been broken into, and these people had nothing to defend themselves but their voice and their phone, and they were scared. And they feel that, that uh, they want to take more responsibility for themselves, and that includes their own self-defense and the defense of their family and their homes. Everyone who takes a class signs the Second Amendment wall, a reminder of their rights, and leave with simple advice. Keep empowering yourself, keep getting more knowledge, keep your rights, hone your skills, know what you're doing, and be safe. In Kingston, Conry Delush, VLT Local 8 News. The number of women taking firearms training has doubled at Frontier over the years. Tomorrow's class will mostly be women.